Many people ask me about the environment I use for competitive programming, so here's setup instructions. The steps are written down in my GitHub, link is in the description. I use Ubuntu, which is a popular free distribution of Linux. I already installed the system, and now what? Click activities in top left or just hit Windows button on your keyboard. Here you can type whatever you want to run or search for. I'm looking for terminal. You can also get the same effect by just hitting Ctrl Alt T. I'd like to install Genie, which is my favorite ID. It isn't perfect, but it is very convenient for competitive programming. I can install it either by using Terminal or Ubuntu Software Center, which is here, but I prefer the Terminal. If I just type Genie in Terminal, it will show me a hint what I should use in order to install it. Here it's sudo apt install Genie. I will copy that, put my password, and yes, I want to continue. Wait a moment and it's done. Now if I here type Genie, it will open the program. I can also in activities type Genie. And I can here right click and add to favorites. Then after closing Genie, I see it's still on the left as a shortcut and it's more convenient to access. Let's configure Genie. Hit Ctrl Alt P to open preferences. Go to key bindings. And there, at the bottom, search for switch to editor and switch to VTE. VTE is terminal built in Genie. Editor, I prefer to switch to F1. Yes, overwrite. And VTE is F2. There are two the buttons that are very close to each other and it's very convenient to use them. Apply. In terminal tab, mark follow path of the current file. And optionally, in editor, I can change comment toggle marker editor here by default it's this character that I don't like I don't want it here hit apply okay because that one is very very not standard open any C++ file I can do it by typing whatever and control s saving it as file.cpp I'm using a.cpp it's saved and now when I go to build set build commands I will see commands for C++. I'm comping my flags to compile and to build. Basically F8 is fast and F9 is safe. Now hitting F9 and F8 runs build and compile respectively that are different sets of flags. F8 uses O2 in particular that speeds up the program and then I will get similar running time as almost on any online judge, where everything will be as fast as possible, while F9 has sanitizers that are slow, but they check a lot of out-of-the-array errors and similar ones, or overflows. The running time is much slower, you shouldn't measure the time on max maximum possible tests this way, but by default I use F9 in order to see possible errors on sample tests or just any other small test. And then F8 only if I want to check something for the max test. When you have a ready C++ program and hit compile, you might get an annoying sound from your PC that says something was compiled. And to get rid of it, go to preferences in general and miscellaneous, unmark beep on errors when compilation has finished, apply, and now there should be no sound. Let me demonstrate how I can use my flags and also the built-in terminal. I'm hitting F9, which is a slow compilation. Now F2 goes to terminal, I can say ls that will list the files here, time run a, it ran the executable and told me that the time is 1.4, but if I do the compilation with F8, which runs O2, I will get 0 0.8 or less running time, so it's indeed faster. But there might be some errors here that would only be caught by sanitizers that slow the program down. So I prefer to have two convenient options. When I'm in terminal, I'm typing something, I can hit just F1, and I'm again in the editor, then F, F2, and I'm here again, F1, I can compile, and F2 moves me back to the terminal. Finally, I don't like all those toolbars and sidebars, so I'm going to go to view and unmark show toolbar and unmark sidebar. Now it's much cleaner and I don't use those, those buttons anyway. 
You might notice a difference between Genie built-in terminal and the standard Ubuntu terminal. The latter has colors, which is very convenient for me to use, and we can fix it by opening file bash rc, looking for prompt or prompt color. Here it is, force prompt color is yes, uncommended, save, and now run source and the same file. Now it's standard colors and after you reboot your computer, because you save this thing in bash rc, it will be every time automatically run, just like if I now close Genie and open it again, it should be here with colors. If you work full screen, consider in interface switching message window position from bottom to right, adjusting it, and now you have terminal on the right and editor on the left. Obviously you can change the font size or with uh, control minus and control plus or with mouse wheel, change the size here. Also you can obviously change somewhere here size of the font if you wish to. I will show you two more things not really related to Genie. First one is that I like to use Gwake. I'm going to install it now. Yes, please. Now I never need to run terminal again as a separate window because I have kind of a global terminal that I can open with F12 and it is here. I can do it full screen as well. So when I do anything, including Genie, but maybe I'm doing something online and then I want to quickly open the terminal, I don't need to waste time on wi arranging windows. It's just on the top. This is one thing, Gwake, very co very convenient thing, I recommend that. The other is that I don't like that sidebar on the left, and I can go here, go here to dock, and mark auto hide the dock, and with auto hide, every time you are full screen with any window, or just you want to move some window to the left, the dock will hide, but still you can access it by moving your mouse to the left, and here you have, you have everything you need strongly recommend that as well, especially on laptops where you want to get as much of your screen as possible. One more thing useful for laptops is workspaces. If you have multiple windowses and you work with several stuff, then you might want to use workspaces and you can move between workspaces with Ctrl Alt and arrow up or down. That basically gives you two sets of windows or programs that are open right now. If you have any questions about my setup, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will try to reply to everybody. And I also strongly recommend my old video about testing in Linux that is especially useful for people competing in IOI or national stages of Olympiad, where it's very important that you test your solution yourself in order to find mistakes. You have five hours for free problems. Then it's enough time to write a brute force as well, some generator a script thanks to which you will be able to make sure that your program is correct or find a counterexample. That's it, see ya!